Hey guys, it's your girl Kirby Smoke, and I'm here to bring you a holiday themed video. I'm not doing a review, and I'm not doing a tutorial. I am doing a um, suggestion video. Basically, what to get for your fellow hookah smoker for the holidays this year. So, I'm going to be going down a little bit of a list, saying some things that I know are definitely on my Christmas list, and some things I think that maybe your fellow hookah smoker would like. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, we're going to go from the top of the hookah to the bottom. The top of the hookah would be the foil, coal, all that. So the first thing I'm going to start with is the Cloud Lotus. This is something that is definitely, definitely on my Christmas list, and I think it's on a lot of hookah smokers' Christmas lists. The Cloud Lotus replaces the need for aluminum foil on your bowl. You put your coals inside of this, and then you put the lid on while it sits on your bowl and it gives you perfect heat management no charcoal taste no ash it's awesome it also comes with its own wind cover lid to help you learn about heat management and give you just no need of having a big bulky wind cover on top of your bowl it's really nice um the handle covers are black gray pink red and blue they are $44.95 for their basic packaging or $59.95 for their more premium packaging. Personally, I don't think I'm going to shovel out an extra like $10 for a box that locks. So that's me. But it's awesome. I would definitely suggest it. You can get them at cloud.com. I'll just post some links where you can get stuff. Um, many messages, sorry. So. Speaking of coals, natural coals. Um, natural coals are listed on all websites. It'll tell you that it's a natural coal. Do not pick them up what is called a quick light. The reason being, even though those coals do light quickly, they can mostly always give off a chemical taste and they ash like crazy. So much ash in your tray, it's ugh, awful. So, I would definitely suggest picking up natural coals. I suggest Coco Nars because that's what I use, but there are so many other brands out there for everyone to try. So, still talking about coals, a coil burner. A coal burner is a portable coil stove. You plug it anywhere, you light your coals, it heats a lot faster. It's wonderful. Not only is it nice to be able to have the coil stove next to your hookah so you don't have to travel from the kitchen, to your hookah smoking area it's just great in all aspects it was definitely on my christmas list and i'm getting one very excited um you can pick them up from walgreens home depot cvs pretty sure you can pick them up pretty much anywhere online in person um all right so Underneath the foil and coals is a bowl. I would suggest a funnel style bowl. The Tangiers, Pico, Small, um, the Harmony Bowl, Alien Bowl, they're all good. Um, don't get a Chinese one, which is a bowl that looks really, really glossy. Um, you can tell when they're Chinese, it'll most likely say it's a Chinese bowl. Um, so, definitely, um, maybe I would suggest staying with the Tangiers Bowl, the Harmony Bowl, Alien Bowl. Um, those are some good style funnel bowls for you to look at. So, underneath that is a hookah. Um, I would suggest KM, which is Khalil Mamoon. We have, let me see here, hold on. I actually have some tabs up because... Um, I was looking at stuff. There's the Shika, there are some Turkish hookahs, the Farida, the Art hookah, Lavu, um, the Roy hookah. There are really a lot of hookahs out there. I would stay away from the Starbucks hookahs, um, anything that is a Chinese hookah. Um, if you're not sure what that is, you can always call a vendor and ask, um, if it's a Chinese hookah or look up the hookah that you're looking at online um i have a km cafe mini i love it it's a perfect height it smokes phenomenally 
Um, but there are so many hookahs out there. So definitely make sure that you're looking at what you should be. Don't go into the Chinese hookahs. They're bad. They rust. They fall apart. Don't do pumpkin hookahs, which are the small hookahs. Get them a nice quality hookah. So the next thing after that is hoses. So I have suggestions for hoses that I like. Um, one of the ones that I smoke with is this one. This is the tonic long handle Egyptian style hose. I love it. The draw is wide open, um, has a removable tip. It's fantastic. Um, the D hose is a glass tip hose. It's washable. This is washable too, by the way. You want a washable hose. Not only will they be able to, um, take care of it. Oh my god, my nose just itches today. These cats, sorry you guys. I keep just rubbing my nose. Um, a washable hose is great because you can take care of the hose better. It'll last longer. Um, if you have flavors that do what's called ghosting, which means that it leaves the flavor in the hose, you can take lemon juice and warm water, run it through the hose, and it'll actually take out the flavor. So, washable hoses are the way to go. You can get a fancy hose, which is a, um, it's a plastic hose. It's made of higher quality plastic. It's odorless and flavorless. It has a nice wide open draw. It's very well known in the hookah community. Um, the Namor hoses, the Lulava hoses, don't pick up, um, the Maya Freeze hoses. The Maya Freeze hoses unscrews at the top. You put a little cartridge that you have placed in the freezer that's frozen inside the tip. Screw it back on and smoke. It'll chill your smoke, but that also gives you a loss of flavor. And it just, working at Hookah Lounge, we have them, and they just go through so quickly. You have to stop every 15 minutes of smoking and put in a new one. And if you don't have a couple, it can get really annoying. Um... But definitely, like I said before, when you're looking for a hose, you want to make sure that it's a washable hose. So, there's that. The next thing that I'm going to talk about are flavors. My clouds are a little bit light. I'm, I guess I'm ending the, nearing the end of my bowl. All right. So, some suggestions of flavors. Now, Tangiers. Tangiers is a line that if you're going to pick up for somebody, please make sure that they're a little bit more experienced in hookah. It is one of the, blah, blah, blah. it is known as one of the trickiest tobaccos to get proper heat management and get a proper smoke. Also, if you're picking up Tangiers, make sure if they have a funnel style bowl. If they don't, get them one with the shisha. The next brand is Haze. I smoke Haze. I love Haze. Um, some personal recommendations on flavor. I would definitely suggest Haze Colada, Candylicious, Pumpkin Pleasure, Double Bubble. I have a couple others in my mind and I just can't get them out. Skills on the Rocks is a good one. Peachella. There's a bunch of flavors. But those are the ones that I smoke that I really like. Um, I would stay away from Starbuzz. Just because they're not a good company um, business wise. But I do like one of their flavors. Um, their strawberry margarita is probably the best strawberry margarita I've had. I love it. It's amazing. It is on point with that strawberry margarita flavor. Another brand is Fumari. Fumari is known as the one of the most flavorful, fresh tasting shishas on the market today. I actually have a pack of their blueberry muffin. It was my first time smoking that flavor and it's probably the strongest long lasting flavor I've ever smoked. Um, some flavors that are known are the Ambrosia, White Gummy Bear, Blueberry Muffin, their White Peach, their Prickly Pear. Those are some really good flavors that you can look into to pick up. 
um, Nakla, Nakla Mizo, Alfacker, I like their peach, which is what I'm smoking right now, um, Pukafina, Awaha, Social Smoke, uh, let me see, anything else? You can also look into Beamer Ice Drops, the Shisha Stones, Tonic, Something Girly. There's a lot of different brands out there. Um, I listed basically the ones that I would click on to purchase myself. So you can either go from those brand suggestions or you can just take a peek at the different um, companies. But always remember to ask your hookah smoker what they like. Do they like to smoke sweet flavors? Um, more heavy flavors like coffees? Do they like mints? If they like mints, uh, Tangier's Cane Mint is a mint that is so popular, it literally flies off the shelves. Um, that is a mint that I would definitely suggest to you guys to pick up. So, let's see. We talked about charcoal bowls, coil burners, shisha, hookahs, hoses. I think that's it, you guys. Um, if you guys are putting anything else on your Christmas list this year, Comment below, let me know what you're asking for. I'm excited and I want to see what you guys are asking for. So, with that being said, happy smoking, happy holidays. I hope everyone gets what they want. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to message me, comment below, and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Happy holidays, you guys. See you later and happy smoking.